Live, it's still Saturday night <laughs> in Florida. <laughs> Live! <laughs> Um, I, it, I just took a walk and I just wanted to say, uh, the importance, I just want to stress the importance of training your small dog. If you have a little teeny dog, it, it's, I don't know what the deal is, but we just want to see them as, oh, they're just little babies and like, they don't, they, you, we can't control them. Look at them. They're just so cute. They're do, 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 do. Well, they may, they need training just as much as larger dogs because I was just out taking a walk through the streets of Hollywood, Florida, and this little dog was across the street looking like he was getting ready to come across the street, and there's traffic, and I'm going, wait, no, no. Man, that dog bolted right towards me and right on past me, and this man was chasing it. It was not his dog. He said he doesn't know the owner personally, but he knows where the dog lives. And he was just trying to be a good guy. So we're trying and to kind of corral this dog was moving like so fast, zipping in and out of cars. And it was the size of a, it wasn't a pound bigger than a chihuahua. This thing was terrified. Didn't know where it was. All wild. Over there. This dog didn't know a basic command one. Well, I mean, maybe it did from its owners. I don't know. But if it did, why would it be where it is right now? You know what I'm saying? Oh, and even sometimes even the best trained dog can get away and do something foolish. I get that. I'm not like coming down and be like, oh, they didn't do any training on this dog. Maybe they did. Maybe they just got the dog. Maybe we don't know what the story is behind this little dog. We never caught him. He was zipping in and out of the road, zip ran right through a four-way intersection. People are honking and skidding and yelling at us. Every every person that was, ch you know, chasing the dog. People are like, is that your dog? Like we're f some kind of criminal. We're so stupid. They're like, no, it's not our dog. We're whatever why are you mad well what if it was are you mad i mean so they're mad and my dog isn't trained at least not my dog but i tried desperately to catch him i walked a half a mile and i'm looking and looking I, he was just long gone uh, what i'm hoping is the dog knows where he lives and when he calms down he can safely make his way back but he was just ripping and a running with terror he was panting his head off he stopped for a minute he's just so out of breath he's exhausted it's hot. He's little. How long is it going to take him to dehydrate and keel over? But I couldn't believe he didn't get hit. We were just like, everybody's like, ah, like all these people, like 15 of us are in all the various positions, you know, on either side of the road, up and down. And this dog is like, catch me if you can. Well, we can't. And he just, whew, he disappeared. So I am so sorry for this little dog and its owner. If the owner even knows he's missing, I mean, who knows what happened? So, I, you know, nobody was coming out of that building going, little dog, little dog, you know. So they may not know, which is horrifying, but it did have a collar. So 